Um, Zillion, really, because yeah. you know he's had a he had like a good chance when he was 50, 58 in front. He's not won that frame. <laughs> and Mark Williams is starting to get. He's getting stronger and stronger. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he put some fantastic balls there, Williams. He'd be, he'd be impressed with that, William. OK. Zillion. There you go. You heard it. It'd Zillion. To run. You never know. It happens in snooker. Uh, we're going to have a quick break. When we come back, the boys, of course, will come out and play to a finale. We'll see you in just a moment. happened for Jack Lazowski, you can see, that uh, he's the first winner in this session, 6-1 of a Meiji win, so another big step towards being in the Masters, although he could play his nearest challenger for that, Marco Fu, in the next round. And Neil Robertson, who was 3-0 down to Tepchara Nu, has come back to 3-3, so that looks like a belter, which unfortunately, as Neil was saying, for some reason, has been put on table three. Yeah, we saw the highest breaks there, 58, of course, that was in the third frame, which uh, Williams won with that good clearance. Yeah, and another good safety shot. He has played some really good safety, Daniel Wells. And nothing to show for it as yet. He may feel forced to take this long straight red on to this left corner. But there's danger attached to it. Could leave a red to the right middle. Onto the right corner. It looks like he's taking it on. Well, I don't know where he was getting the angle from there. Didn't look to be an angle. But it's worked out okay. There's a red to the right corner, but not easy. And not easy to get to a colour from it. You know, keep this on the open. So even if he did take that red on, it looks like the black doesn't go into this right corner pocket. Yeah, he wants to take it on, he wants to get going, but sometimes you've just got to be patient. He has got a safety shot, he can play off the reds closest to the left corner. Thin. There is a red that will pop to that right corner pocket, and looks like he's taking it on. But it was all or nothing. Left an easy open up for Williams and okay, full marks for being positive, but and I suppose it may have be thinking I gotta try something different. But it hasn't worked out well for him. Well, it's Christmas now this month because it's December the first and this is a present here for Williams, you feel. Well, the only good thing, I suppose, is that, the, for Daniel Wells, that is, that the black doesn't go to the right corner, or he didn't appear to. He's having a good look at it. <laughs> well, it's very tight. From that angle, obviously, Mark's right behind it. Of course, if, if he decides to take it on, it must go. But this isn't straightforward. He's got an easy opening red. But the colour, not easy to get to. If the red passes the pink into the right middle, then that could be an option. 
So just trusting to luck. Whoop. And, well, he's been taking these balls on and getting them. Hoping for a good kiss there.
Struck 53. In fact, a little too hard, but he should be okay. Left handed taking the rest outs who could hold the rest you've never seen that play before well he does things his own way and he always just makes it look so inconsequential even pressure shots as if it's just you know another shot fact is this shot is frame ball for 5-0 just can't see any way back Jimmy said it actually in the studio didn't he and uh, you've got to agree certainly now it's going to take some extraordinary turn around Williams is going to have to basically collapse and Wells is going to have to Playing so well in the last round, Daniel Wells making two centuries. It's nice to never break. Hasn't played as well in this match, but to be fair, he, he hasn't been allowed to. Breaks 116, 67, 63, and maybe another century here. He can't score if you're not at the table. No, but he has had chances, and I think it's just a different feeling being out there. Yeah, from one of the back tables to suddenly you're playing the world champion in front of everybody. So much pressure on. 91. Particularly when the world champion's playing like this. Yeah, make no mistake, he is playing well. 97. 98. Yeah, this has been a really nice break again, Williams, and it's going to be the second century of the afternoon if this pin goes in. All be applauded by the crowd here at Barbican. One hundred and six. Can he complete the whitewash? One hundred and six. since Mark Williams first won the title 16 since his second success he was runner up to John Higgins 2010 but what a turnaround fortunes the fact that he comes here as world champion and if he wins the UK title for a third time he'll be world number one <laughs> what about that 
half a positional shot. Just to let everybody know he can play exhibition shots as well. 124. Uh, a little trick shot to finish. Might have to work on that one, but uh, well, a delightful break again from Mark right. Williams. 124 to go with the 116 in frame two. Daniel Wells, 5-0. He's on the comeback trail. He was 3 0 down to Tepchar and New on table three. Robertson, though, leads 4 3. Just one result so far. Jack Lazowski beat Meiji, went 6 1. Alan McManus, a 3 1 up, remember, against John Higgins on the Eurosport player. Well, Danny Wells has been second best this afternoon, but he can still avert a whitewash here in frame six. Yeah, and that's all he's got to think about now. why the cue ball hasn't travelled far enough for a good angle on the black to be able to go into the reds. So he's going to have to force the angle now. Wasn't easy. Well, just caught them a little thin. Long red to the right corner, but the black tied up. Pink will go to the middle, but there's danger taking the red on. There's danger leaving it there. And again, caught them too thin with all that left-hand side on the cue ball. And it could be okay. 
maybe a red at the back of the pack there that will go. I want to go to the line and look on. Are you done with it? trying to land up into the reds by the pink side cushions and landing up into the reds next to the pink foul a miss well, well could go back but there is a red that will go
yards to a sat. Well, it could not have tried harder to go down that pocket, could it? I thought it was in. He was playing it as a shot. Nothing using the other red to take. The Just about potted. Give me a Could have played that better. Referee Colin Humphreys just uh, sorting the pink out with all the spots occupied. Eight. Well, again, not ideally on. His next colour, and from there. But he's not on it. I think that's the red he was attempting to play on. <coughs> yeah, frustrating afternoon for Daniel Wells, and he won't be happy either with that, with that last shot. Left an immediate chance here for Williams. Well, that seemed to spring off the black cushion there. some of Wells' results. I mean, he beat Sean Murphy twice last season. This season at the English Open, he beat Joe Perry and Barry Hawkins, but he's doing it on the main table. That's the issue for him, really. Manners are back, so that's on the Eurosport player. 3 1 to McManus. Could be a bit of mileage in that one yet. Well, oh, two for the price of one. Two. But again, what a good pot that was. Screwing up black and red. And giving himself a great chance here. The black's safe, but he can do the damage with the pink and blue. And when he pots this red, the pink would be available. Eight. Just to say quickly that Neil Robertson was 3-0 down to Tepchar and New. He's had three centuries to lead 5-3. So what a turnaround. From the Aussie twice champion of the UK Championship. Yeah, great shame that wasn't on one of the TV tables. Well, he played to nudge them, but he wanted a little bit more run through on the cue ball. 
It's still potable, this red, but it would have been a lot easier than the six inches or so. just has that knack of getting the right side of the blue each time. Twenty. Just as I say that, he leaves himself straight. So he's got himself 21 in front in the frame he needs to win this match. third frame. I know he'd had a century in the second, but Wells was in front, made 58 third frame. Williams made that icy cool clearance. Eight. And really has pressed on from there. 35 in front with 35 on, as Joe says, with the pink goes in. And that means you just have to drop the... wait to put himself in the next round well he's played well he really has it's the best i think he's played since he won that world open <laughs> then at times he's not really looked that bothered he's been turning up not really producing the goods but the uk championship is one of the great events of our sport Mark Williams has won it twice before, and it looks like he's got himself right. For York, he's made two centuries. You see this afternoon, 116 and 124. It has been one-sided, you have to say. Wells had some early chances, didn't take them, as I say, that third frame. 